Yo, what is going on, everyone in the crypto space? So today I was going to talk about a couple things. Uh, first, I'm talking about Coin Market Cap. Second, I'm going to talk about this company called Seagate and why that is relevant to Ripple right now. And I'm going to go on a little Bitcoin rant, and give you my little story of what happened yesterday, which caused me to lose a significant amount of my money due to Bitcoin. All right. So first of all, uh, let's talk about Coin Market Cap here. So yesterday, uh, if you've been looking at Coin Market Cap lately, it sort of looks like there's been a huge market crash, although there wasn't. Um, all that happened with coin market cap was that they removed the price average. So they have the price average of all the exchanges, right? So they removed all the Korean exchanges, which is where like majority of our volume comes from and where like the big, uh, where the big prices are at. Cause on the Korean exchange, I believe right now it's about $4 for one ripple. So they decided to take that average out, but not only did they take the average out on ripple, they um they're not including the Korean market in the averages for any cryptocurrency now, so it simulated a big sell off in the market, which didn't actually happen. But due to that, that caused a actual a significant sell off into the market. Now a lot of people are complaining on Twitter about Coin Market Cap. Like I I understand why they're pissed. I mean this site is used. I think this site's the site's used the most uh, to get like price volume, um twenty four hour. A 24 hour price change and all that so for them to just come out randomly and take off all the Korean averages That's very unprofessional and they could have at least said something on their social media a day prior before so people wouldn't think there was a big crash in the market Now, um, I think it's just very unprofessional. I think it could have been their mistake But if the conspiracy theorist out me comes out of me I would say that they're they purposely tried to do this to uh, to bring down the market to get a great entry in some cryptocurrencies because uh, these guys probably make tons of money off ads and they have uh, donations at the bottom. So I imagine they do have a lot of money. So if I was a conspiracy theorist, I'd probably be saying that they wanted to, they wanted to crash the market to get a good entry. But what they should have done is said on their Twitter or Instagram or other social media or forums, they should have uh, said a day before, hey, we're going to remove the Korean market from the averages. This isn't a big sell-off. This is just the uh, averages of the Korean market getting taken out. But yeah, uh, honestly, I don't think I'm going to use CoinMarketCap anymore. Uh, Dre Ventures uh, on Twitter, he was saying live coin watch. They kept the Korean market average. I mean, because you could say that, oh, the Korean market, it's, it's way too high, so it's an outlier. It's like, yeah, it's, it might be an outlier, but that's still where the majority of the volume comes from. So why would that be taken out of the average? So, I mean, I would still use CoinMarketCap. Uh, I mean, if they at least said something about it prior, but they just all of a sudden, boom, got rid of the cream market, made it look like the market was crashing, even though it wasn't. So, no longer going to use Coin Market Cap, guys. Um, screw this website for trying to drain the market. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start using Live Coin Watch from now on. Um, they decided to actually keep the cream market in the average because it's not an outlier because that's where the majority of our volume comes from. So, Coin Market Cap starting now, not going to use it again. All right, now uh, if you guys have heard of the company Seagate, they develop hardware. That's about all I know about it, but um, there's rumors of them having a large ownership of XRP. They're rumored to have billions worth of XRP. I don't know exactly where the rumor originated from because I'm not on any stock trader kind of forums, only on crypto stuff, but there had to have been some minor detail that kind of reveals that they own oh, quite a bit of XRP because their stock price today is actually up 7%. Now you might be thinking of 7%, it's, it's nothing. But guys, we get spoiled with the crypto market. We get like 400% weeks and like 1,000% month gains. Guys, in the stock market, 7% in one year is like a great investment. So just to give you an idea. So for Seagate uh, technology to rise 7% in one day, that is very significant for the stock market. Now on the CNBC article here, they're saying uh, Seagate shares rise on a report speculating on the size of its investment in the cryptocurrency from Ripple. The storage company invested in Ripple's Series A financial uh, financing round in May 2015. So in May 2015, the XRP price was very small. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't pick up a large amount of XRP for a fairly cheap value. So that's why their stock price is going up. Uh, like I said, I don't know exactly where this rumor originated from or the speculation, but there had to have been some minor detail that kind of reveals they own a lot of Ripple. So that's good stuff. Um, also, wanted to talk about now Microsoft is not accepting Bitcoin, and I completely understand why. If I was Microsoft, I would have gotten rid of Bitcoin a long time ago. Um, but yeah, they decided to get rid of it as a payment method, as along with uh, the platform called Steam. So this is really hinting if you guys do have a lot of money in Bitcoin, uh, get it out soon because it's losing utility. 
and uh, the community is really not doing too good of a job trying to fix the issues with Bitcoin. So now that's another large corporation dropping Bitcoin as a payment. So utility is utilities leaving, folks. Get out of it while you can. All right. So here's my little Bitcoin rant. Scary for this. So first off, I'm going to start off with people calling XRP a scam and centralized. I don't care that it's centralized. Maybe it's centralized. Maybe it's not. I, I really don't care. Decentralization means nothing if there's no use case. That's that. Now, calling XRP a scam. I am convinced that Bitcoin is now a scam. Okay, so I had some money in my Coinbase wallet. had some money. I had some Bitcoin in my Bitstamp wallet, kind of just from like little side trades that I kind of do for fun. And I'm like, you know what? Hey, maybe I'll order a Ledger Nano S because now you have to pre-order them because they're sold out of stock. I mean, guys, you can get uh, check the link in the description if you want to go ahead and pick pick one up, get a pre-order in because they're literally out of stock. That's how great their product must be. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Hey, I'm going to use all this $150 worth of Bitcoin. I'm going to go ahead and purchase a Ledger Nano S. They only cost about $95 before tax. So I was like, hey, you know what? Maybe the Bitcoin fees are low. Maybe I'll be able to pick one up. Boy, was I wrong. So I send money for my uh, Bitcoin for my Bitstamp into my BitPay wallet. And then I send money for my Coinbase account into my BitPay wallet. And then I go try to buy uh, the Ledger Nano S and I don't have enough funds for the miner fee. Because basically miners now, uh, they're basically asking for a bribe to pass your money through. Uh, it's $17 to pay the miners and a $10 network fee. My bank is literally cheaper for a domestic transaction and they're supposed to replace banks. Guys, you guys, please get your money out of Bitcoin as fast as possible. So I go on to buy it. I can't buy it because I can't pay the miners a bribe. And I mean, that's essentially a scam. So, uh, so far I've lost about 50 bucks in fees. That's totally decent, totally decentralized, not a scam has so much utility, right? And, uh, also to mention the reason why I think the miner fee is so high is because 51% of the hash power is controlled by the top five mining pools, which doesn't sound too decentralized to me. So I bet you those mining pools are ramping up the miner fees because they control all the hash power. But yeah, but again, it's really decentralized, guys. Really decentralized when five mining pools control majority of the power. So after I already lose 50 bucks, I'm like, okay, well, um, since I'm looking to get a new PC set up soon, once my uh, affiliate stuff gets paid out from Ledger and YouTube, I'm like, you know, hey, maybe I'll go order a keyboard. So I hop on Amazon, uh, find the keyboard I want. Can't get the Razer Naga Chroma or whatever, like the really cool one. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'll just get the 2016 Gamer Edition, right? So BitPay, they have the, um, they, they provide a pretty cool service. This isn't BitPay's fault, by the way, guys. This is completely Bitcoin's fault. But uh, so Bit, uh, BitPay, they provide a service where you can order an Amazon gift card and you can, you can trade your Bitcoin from Amazon gift card. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and get this keyboard. Oh, but again, I don't have enough money for the miner fee and the network fee. So uh, again, I can't get that keyboard. So instead of getting that brand new keyboard, now I have to step down to a one that's $18 lower and purchase a refurbished Razer keyboard. So my one hundred and fifty dollars. So here, here's here's the Bitcoin blockchain, right? My money came through the blockchain. They took fifty percent, and then I ended up getting a really crappy keyboard. Oh, an XRP is a scam with a network fee of point oh 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 three dollars. Oh yeah, oh okay. XRP is a scam, guys. Yeah. So, um, Bitcoin did great things, guys. The technology. Okay, actually, no, not the technology, but the ideology behind it, the purpose. The whole vision for Satoshi Nakamoto, that honestly, that was very great and revolutionary. Now the community has, whatever they've been doing, let the technology go to shit. Uh, not putting ads on my page, so I don't care if I say that. Um, so yeah, I mean the Bitcoin community, you guys really need to get your shit together. Um, $27 for one transaction, uh, that's not going to cut it. I, I don't see this coin hitting anywhere above 20000 again. Um... From here on out, if if this technology keeps these high fees and long transaction times and a backed up blockchain and not trying to solve anything, um, this coin's going downhill from here. I can see this coin dead uh, in 2018, if not sooner. Guys, $27 for one transaction, that is mad. Banks, banks are cheaper. Banks are cheaper for domestic wires than Bitcoin right now. Think about that. So um, if anyone significant in the Bitcoin community is uh, watching this, uh, I want to see Bitcoin thrive. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it perish because it did so many great things and that would bring market uh, wouldn't bring confidence to the market if Bitcoin crashed and just completely dropped to nothing. 
So you guys in the Bitcoin community, you really got to get got to get something together here. You got to really fix this technology, solve the problem with the centralization of mining pools because Bitcoin, yeah, it was decentralized at first. It is not decentralized anymore because we wouldn't have these high fees. So you guys need to solve the problem of the mining pools, the centralization. You guys need to get rid of these fees and you guys seriously need to do something about the, t I don't, I don't know about the whole block size and whatever, but get it faster and cheaper and you guys are good to go. You leave it how it is right now. The coin is dead in six months. Thank you guys so much for watching this, uh, listening to this little rant and little informational video. That's kind of what's been going on the last few days in crypto space for me. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Make sure to check the links in the description. If you want to support the channel, you can go ahead and follow my Twitter or pick up a Legendary Nano S. Uh, safest hardware wallet out there, guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, make sure to keep holding Ripple and stay in the crypto space. Thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you in the next video.